Fourier transform of triangular pulse. Suppose given signal x t is tri t triangular pulse. Its waveform is waveform is in triangular shape. For minus one to plus one, slope of line is slope is plus one, and from zero to one, slope of line is minus one. Slope is plus one because value of signal is increasing when time is increasing, and from 0 to 1 slope is minus 1 because value of signal is decreasing when time is increasing. Now you can write the expression for xt for negative time the signal is straight line with slope 1 function of time and intercept on vertical axis is plus 1. So signal is basically or better to write t plus 1. Signal is t plus 1 when time is between minus 1 to 0. And the signal is minus t plus 1 when time is between 0 and 1 and signal is 0 otherwise. Now the Fourier transform of xt is integration of xt e to the power j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now here xt is two-sided signal. So, this xt is 0 from infinity to minus 1 and uh, it is again 0 from 1 to infinity. So, limits of integration will be minus 1 to 0 and then 1 to 0. For the first part of integration, lower limit is minus 1, upper limit 0. Signal is t plus 1. And for the second part, lower limit is 0, upper limit 1. And signal is minus t plus 1. Now we will solve this integration. So, in integration by parts, first function into integration of second function that is e to the power minus j omega t. Integration of second function is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega minus integration of differentiation of first function that is 1 into integration of second function that is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega and the limits are minus 1 to 0. 
now for the second part of integration first function into integration of second function integration of second function e to the power minus j omega t is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega minus differentiation of first function that is minus t plus 1 so differentiation of minus t plus 1 is minus 1 into integration of second function and second function is e to the power minus j omega t its integration is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega limits are 0 to 1 so x omega is minus t plus 1 e to the power minus j omega t divided by j omega now integration of minus j omega t e to the power minus j omega t is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega so this will be um, minus e to the power minus j omega t divided by square of minus j omega so that will be square of minus j omega is minus omega square so this will be plus here minus 1 to 0 now minus t plus 1 e to the power minus j omega t divided by j omega minus minus plus so here integration is e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega square that will be minus omega square so this will be omega square 0 to 1 now we will substitute the limits So if I substitute 0 then this will be e to the power 0 is 1 and uh, t is 0 so minus 1 by j omega then plus e to the power j omega 0 is 1 so 1 by omega square. If I substitute minus 1 then first term 0 for minus 1 second term is minus e to the power j omega by omega square and then um, if i substitute one then minus first term becomes zero for one it is minus e to the power minus j omega by omega square now for zero minus minus plus e to the power 0 is 1 so 1 by j omega minus minus plus e to the power 0 is 1 1 by omega square so x omega is now these two terms will cancel out and uh, now 2 by omega square and uh, minus 1 by omega square e to the power g omega plus e to the power minus g omega so divide and multiplied by 2 this will be uh, 2 by omega square 1 minus cos omega so x omega is now 2 by 
omega square 2 sine square omega by 2 that is sine omega by 2 divided by omega by 2 whole square this is the Fourier transform of triangular pulse in terms of omega now if I replace omega by 2 by f then xf is sine pi f divided by pi f whole square which is sinc square f because sine pi f by pi f is sinc f so the Fourier transform of triangular pulse is sinc square Now we can draw this sinc square f. We know the waveform for sinc f. Sinc f is 1 at 0 and it is 0 at 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now, if we square this signal, then all the negative part will be 0 if I square if I take the square of sinc f so square of sinc f is always positive this is the sinc square f sinc square f it is 1 at 0 and it is 0 at 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so the Fourier transform of triangular pulse is sinc square f